Hi, I've finished another audiobook and it's one of these Japanese ones because I've, I've started to have this love affair with Japanese literature. And this one is The Woman in a Purple Skirt by Natsuko Imamura. And it's a story about obsession, I think. Our narrator is the woman in the yellow cardigan. And we know nothing about her until the end of the book. And it's a very short, short book. Um, we know nothing about her, not even her name, but we live in her head because she is obsessed by the woman in the purple skirt. She knows everything about this woman. She sees her leave her apartment in the mornings. She sees her go to the bakery. She sees her buy a cream bun and then go to the park and sit in the park and eat it. She knows when she's between jobs. She knows when she's got a job, when she's lost a job, when she's got a job, when she's lost a job. She knows everything about her. Um, and she watches this woman in a purple skirt because this woman in a purple skirt is almost um, a celebrity in the area because other people notice her and the local children when she's in the park they gather around her and play games and make fun of her almost. It's almost as though our narrator is envious of the attention this woman in a purple skirt gets and she wants to be her friend. So what she does is she engineers an in a, a job for this woman in the purple skirt um, because the, we don't really know who this this purple skirt woman we don't really know how old she is we don't know anything about her except what we see through our narrator's eyes and she describes her as being looking young, but then she's got age spots on her face. She's got hair that's dry and untidy. So when our narrator decides that she's going to get this woman in a purple skirt a job, she leaves shampoo at her door because she even knows where she lives. You know, it's a bit creepy. Um, and it turns out that when this woman in a purple skirt gets a job, it's at the same place where our narrator works. Um, it's like a cleaning agency for a hotel. And on her first day, the woman in the purple skirt is quiet and shy, but she comes out of herself. And you'd think that our narrator would take the opportunity to introduce herself, but she doesn't. She just carries on watching her. And then again, you can flip it and think, well, if the woman in the purple skirt has spotted our narrator, our woman in a yellow cardigan, because they seem to, they she always seems to be in the same um, place that the woman in the purple skirt is. They, they travel to work on the same bus. They're working in the same place. You'd think that the woman in the purple skirt would say, oh, hi, didn't know you worked here, that type of thing. But she doesn't. It's almost as though our narrator is invisible to the woman in the purple skirt. And, you know, it's, it's different things that go through your mind as you're reading. And then in the workplace, she's a woman in the purple skirt. She's come out of herself. And then you get the petty jealousies that you get in the workplace. There's no real plot. Um, you are living all the time in the narrator's head, watching the woman in the purple skirt. And so when the ending, which is quite dramatic and sort of, uh, would you say it's a twist? I'm, I'm not sure. But you don't expect the ending because you've been watching this relationship, if you can call it that. Well, it's not really a relationship because they don't talk to each other. Um, this connection, but it's only a connection on the woman in a yellow cardigan's part because the woman in the yellow skirt doesn't notice the woman in the yellow cardigan. So you don't expect the ending to be as dramatic as it is. It was a fascinating read. 
absolutely. Um, as for Anna Rater, you, you do almost feel sorry for her. You, you can see that she must be very lonely if her life is taken up with watching this woman. Um, hoping to be friends with her, but not making the first move. Um, it's, yes, I, it's one of those, I, I, I did, I enjoyed it. It's a very quick read. If you're reading the, the book, it's less than 200 pages. Um, but yes, it's a quick read and you just in the head of the narrator all the time. And you learn very little, you don't know anything about the narrator until the end. And it's then that you find out her name. But yeah, if you like Japanese literature, pick this one up. So happy reading. Take care.